Hi there. Looky here, an iguana. Super duper cool. Where did this video come from? Who recorded it? Was it from a girl in Rio de Janeiro? An old lady in Chile? We don't really know for sure. What we do know is that this is an iguana. Now, photographically speaking, the area is illuminated by IR lighting and the camera is static, uh, uh, stationary. It doesn't look like your typical trail cam and I don't believe that it is. This looks like your run-of-the-mill live webcam running 24-7 from some well-laid-out area like a zoo or some other enclosure. And as the usual case with these cameras, they use a wide-angle lens like a 28 or a 32 millimeter, so that everything in the shot is clear and in focus. This shot shows the log in the back and the stuff in the foreground clearly. The weird thing about the video is that when we see the lizard close up, a handsome looking cuss, he is clear, crisp, and ready for Saturday night. While the subject of interest, the bird, is behind the log that is also in focus, but the bird is out of focus. And we see the strange feathered friend again, and at this time the entire background is out of focus, including the thing we are supposed to be seeing. Mr. Iguana continues to be a camera whore about the whole thing. Now for the reversal. Mr. Iguana is now in the back on the log and is crystal clear, as is the log and everything else back there. Meanwhile, our raptor is right in front of the camera and completely blurry. Now, I don't know about you, but that smells like a day digging worms at a local compost heap to me. So everything about this camera screams of singular focus and depth of field settings, yet it bounces back and forth like a dude stealing Wi-Fi from two separate neighbors. Um, okay, guilty. As far as the dodo still existing, maybe sailors of old brought it to Costa Rica centuries ago. Maybe this is the real thing. Or maybe, as I suspect, this is some tomfoolery CG where someone has stuck a dodo head and tail on another bird of some kind. And if this is an enclosure, then a flightless bird would have no way to fly in there since, you know, it's uh, flightless. Hey, maybe it bypassed the security system and jimmied open the lock since the dodo is known to be so intelligent. Thanks for watching.